morning, you guys. Um, as you can tell by the title of the video, today we are going to be talking about depression. If I look crusty, disregard it. Um, this is a really hard video for me to make because, not because it requires me to be vulnerable. As you guys know, I'm always vulnerable with you guys. I'm always snotty nose and crying. I don't have a problem showing that side of me. Um, but it's difficult to make because I think a lot of people are confused about what depression looks like. And from the outside looking in, it can appear like my life is together and it's perfect and... You know, I have so much going on for me. And even I say it out loud. Like, I do recognize the position that I'm in and the goals that I achieved. But ultimately, I am still depressed. And so I know that that can be confusing because sometimes we may think depression looks like, it looks like one thing. Um, and I know that just from going to therapy for it, years that I am functionally depressed. I can get up and I can move and I can do what is required of me. Um, like everything is okay, but I know like deep down inside that I'm not happy. And um, these are one of these moments. I haven't had a moment like this in a while. Like even though I battle with depression, it's not something that you can just kind of fix. Um, Typically, I don't let myself get deep in it. And by that, I mean, like, where I'm doing absolutely nothing. Um, like, just in the bed all day. Literally not leaving the house, only to go walk my dog, and that's it. <laughs> Caleb is such, he's like my saving grace, because if it wasn't for him, like, I literally would not ever go outside. But, um... I usually don't let myself get like this. You know, I've been, I was watching Jennifer Lewis, um, Jennifer Lewis interview on The Breakfast Club, and she had said, you know, she had been depressed her whole life, and I don't know why that resonated with me, but it really resonated with me. Like, wow, I've literally been depressed my whole entire life. And it sounds so sad, and it kind of is, but, I mean, it is what it is. But because I've dealt with depression for so long, I can recognize my triggers and I can recognize when I'm about to, like, get into that mode. And typically, I know what to do to not let myself get so down where I don't do anything. Um, but this past week was really hard for me. And typically, holidays are a trigger for me because I don't have a community. I don't have a cl I don't have close family. I've never had it. Um... And I'm in a new space where I don't have anybody. So it's a little bit harder for me um, around holidays because I don't have anybody to chill with, anybody's house to go over. You know, I don't have friends. I don't have family here. So it's, it's just hard. Holidays are hard for me. And this past holiday was Labor Day. Like, that's not even a big deal. But, um, you know, me seeing people with their friends and their family is a hard one for me because it's something that I desire that I just have never had. I've desired it since I was younger. And ever since I was younger, like, even, like, my longtime friends can attest to this. Like, I've always been with my friends and their family. I've never been with my own family. I've never had, not, I'm going to say never, probably, like, when I was younger, younger, like, single digits. But as I got older, you know, I was always with someone else's family because my family is just not close like that. Um... And so Labor Day, that's when it kind of started. Um, and I didn't catch it. I did not catch it. Like, I felt it coming on. But instead of, like, doing things to kind of help me through it, I didn't. I didn't. And I just stayed in the bed every single day. Um, I think we had appointments. Like, Wednesday we had an appointment. I went to do the appointment and then got right back in the bed. Thursday, end of it all day. Friday, I ended up getting my hair done, um, but came back and got in the bed. Saturday, in the bed all day. Sunday, in the bed all day. So today is Monday, and I'm just like, Shannon, like, you have to. And that's why this video is hard, because I am in a space where I'm, like, having to, like, pull. I'm in a space where 
I'm having to pull myself out. And I just don't, I don't have the strength. Like, I literally don't have, like, the mental capacity. I had told myself yesterday, you know, like, let's just get up and, you know, let's do one thing. Um, but I was just like, I can't, I can't. That's the thing about being functionally depressed. Like, I understand that my business doesn't care that I'm depressed. My bills don't care that I'm depressed. Like, I have to get up and I have to make shit happen. So, <sighs> this is why this video was hard because I am having to do something for myself that I really don't have the strength to do at all. But I know that if I stay in this space, it's only going to get worse. And it brings about a certain anxiety because for those of y'all who don't follow the vlog, I have a med spa. And so I know that when I don't show up, um, things start to pile up. And then that's when the anxiety comes on because it's always something to do in this business. But <sighs> today is a day where it's just like, all right, Shannon, we cannot let this defeat you. But it's so hard, y'all. It is so hard. It's so confusing because it's just like, man, you're so blessed. You have so much going on for yourself. But depression isn't like something you decide upon. Like it's literally like a chemical imbalance in your head. And um, I've debated on if I wanted to get on medication or not. And every time that I think about taking that route, something happens where I don't like the one time that I was actually going to see a psychiatrist. I think she was, I, I really hate the American mental health system. Like it is not valued like heart disease or diabetes. Like it's just not. And which is a huge reason why eventually I will go back to be a nurse practitioner so that I can open up my own facility because I'm really passionate about it because I, I, I'm dealing with it. I understand it. But the one time that I was going to do it, the psychiatrist was booked for like nine months. And I'm just like, what? So by the time that the appointment came, I should have kept it, but I was feeling better. And so I was just like, ah, oh, well, I'll be okay. Um, and then also, like I said, I've been depressed for so long and I've been in therapy for 10 years. So I understand when I'm like something is about to trigger it. I know when it's coming on, like I can feel it. And I also have learned a lot of tools um, to help me through it. But like I said, this time I didn't catch it and I kind of just sat in it. And when I sit in it, it's really hard for me to bring myself out. And I haven't had like one of these moments in a very long time, like years, at least a few years. Um, and so today's vlog, um, I really hope that it, if you've never been through depression, it helps you understand it a little bit. Um, it helps you see that you need to check on people more often. Um, I get that we are adults and everybody is battling something. So it's not as easy, especially when you got your own shit going on. But um, just to show y'all, you never know. You literally never know what somebody is going through. I think a lot of times, too, like people are so confused when somebody commits suicide who doesn't look like they should have committed suicide. Um, I remember it was that one. I think she was a news reporter or Miss America. I forget exactly, like, what accolade she had but everybody was so confused by her committing suicide like she had this perfect life and it's just like you never really know what somebody is battling inside and so I'm just like let's do this video one it's very different I've never done a video like this before but one to really show that depression doesn't look like a one-size-fits-all two to possibly help somebody who is going through depression um, to see that, that 
you don't let it have to, you don't have to let it consume your life. Even though it's hard, like it's hard as fuck right now for me today. Um to even think. Like I'm in a I'm I'm in a very pessimistic state right now of you know, what is the point of all this? Why am I doing all this? Not the the video, but just my life. Like what is the point of all of this? And so that's another reason why it's hard because like I'm not I'm not seeing any purpose. It's like, I'm doing this for what? I don't even know. Tomorrow, I may be right back in my bed. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to pull myself out of this the way that I like to. But, you know, just to show somebody, like, it doesn't hurt to try. Like, if that's all you have in you, that's okay. Just try. Um... So today's video is going to be about me trying the things that I do, the tools that I have learned that really just help me get out of this state of mind. Not completely, but you know, like, help eases it. Um, and I really don't. When I say, y'all, when I'm thinking about it now, like, I'm thinking about the things that I'm going to do, I really don't. I really want to go back and get in my bed and just be... Like, it's so much easier for me to go get back in my bed than to try. But, again, I know that this is not it's not a place that I need to be in. And I've been in it too long. Like, I'm typically, I'm really good. I'm really, that's why I'm surprised at myself that I even let myself get to this point. Because I'm really good at recognizing, like, okay, we're going to have to try really hard this week to, to stay afloat. But I just kind of, like, lost control. I don't even know how. Like, I I really don't know how. Like, I hate being in this, this mind state because it's really hard for me to pull myself out. And that's why I'm just, like, a little annoyed with myself. Like, how did we get here? How did you let yourself get here? But anyway, these tears are not going to do anything. Um, So, getting to the point of the video... I am going to show you guys what I do to kind of help me when I am in a really depressed state or just in general, the things that I do to keep me afloat. Um, I have recognized over the years um, what helps me, the tools that help me kind of just maneuver through these these moments or these bouts. Because, you know, depression is just not a thing that you get rid of. Once you have it, it's like you have it forever and you just have to learn how to maneuver through it. So... One of the things that we are going to do is move our body. Um, as you've heard me say many a times, I just want to go get back in the bed um, because it's easier. But, um, you know, I've learned that even if I'm like cleaning up my house, going to the gym, going for a walk, it looks like it's going to be a nice day outside today. Like I have to move my body. I cannot sit in the bed. Like that is like one of my no no's you cannot sit around you need to get up and so that is the first thing that we are going to do i've become so accustomed to walking my dog that it doesn't count to me um and especially because he's getting old he doesn't want to walk long walks anymore so it's easy for me to let him outside and come back in and get in the bed so we're gonna go walk him really quick and then i don't know if i want to go to the gym um and do weights or if I want to just go for a long walk. I haven't decided yet. I want to go to the gym because it's going to take my mind off of whatever is on there. Because I'm going to have to focus. But also, I'm like, I don't know if I'm in a mood to lift. So I'm like, well, let's go for a walk. But I don't know if I want to go for a walk because I'm going to be thinking. My mind never shuts off. Um, unless it's distracted. And a walk is... It's easy for me to think. So I don't know which one we're going to do, but the point is we have to move our body. I cannot sit. Like, I don't know if y'all can see, but we have, this has been our situation for the last five days, five or six days. Um, and I have to move my body. I have to, I have to, I have to, I have to, I have to. So that is tool number one for me. Move your body. I don't care what you do. 
go to the gym, go for a walk, whatever it is you need to move your body. You need to get out of the space that you are in. So let me stop talking, go wash my crusty ass face and get outside. Um, let's go. see I decided to do a walk hey y'all as you can see I decided to do a walk I thought that a walk wouldn't be a good idea because I was gonna be thinking but it's hot outside I was walking at a good pace I was trying to make sure my heart rate stayed at like 160 and I just feel better automatically like sun is just healing for the body um getting those endorphins in your body is just good and so now I feel like I'm about to take a shower because I'm a sweaty mess. I'm about to take a good shower. I'm about to take a like a slow shower. Like I'm about to exfoliate and I'm just about to really, um, I guess, um, tend to my body um, a little bit more than I would typically do when I'm in the shower. Um, but yes, if I can recommend anything, I would definitely say to move your body. I know it's hard. It's so hard. Um, and oddly enough, these last six days that I've been in the bed, I did make sure that I go to the gym. I don't know if I made sure to go to the gym because I already paid her. I paid her at the beginning of the month and I'm like, you're not about to waste this money. Or if I've just gotten into the habit of doing it, but Move your body. I, it is one of the best things that you can do for yourself when you are depressed because sitting, I don't mind for me, it's like the devil's playground for real, for real. And so me moving my body just does wonder. So I'm about to take a shower and then we'll come back and talk about what I am going to do next to kind of help me get out of this funk. Okay, y'all, so I am bathing, clean. Um, the next thing I need to do is to organize my life. The thing about me being depressed and like not being able to push through is that um, I end up stacking on more work um, to the point where it's like I don't do anything because I know that there have been so many days that I did nothing. So I just feel like I have so much to catch up on. <sighs> what should I do? Um, but the longer that I make the decision to not acknowledge what I have to do, the more things that will pile up. And so in order for me to feel good about where I'm at, I need to um, organize my life. So typically Sundays are like my planning days, you know, start of the week, I'll plan out my week, what I have to do, appointments, goals, whatever. And um, I kind of like, go back to the beginning of the month like I have goals for the month and kind of just make sure that I'm on track so I'm going to do that I don't want to do it in the house though because I'm just kind of sick of being in here um and I hate that because my home is my sanctuary um it is my place of peace but because I have just been in here day in and day out I need to push myself out the house so we're going to go to Starbucks and we're going to sit and we are going to get our life together. I have things that I need to do for both of my businesses um, and then just like personal goals that I need to make sure that I'm, I'm tasked with. And yeah, so I am going to make me a chai tea latte. I'm not going to buy one at Starbucks when I have the stuff here. So we're going to go ahead and get that made and go to Starbucks and just kind of organize our life. <clears throat> I find that it helps me see 
everything that I have going on. Like, they're, my mind is, like, constantly running. Even as I'm talking to y'all, I'm thinking of everything. And what I want to do is just kind of do a brain dump of things that need to be accomplished and then kind of prioritize it um, and take it one step at a time. I used to get really bogged down by not, like, completing my task list. Um, but I have gotten better at not beating myself up for it. Um, I've been practicing progression over perfection. And so, <coughs> excuse me, even if I start something and I don't finish it, I feel better starting it than not doing anything. So, I'm going to do a brain dump. I need to figure out how am I going to record this because I really wanted you guys to kind of see it. Um, but we're going to do a brain dump and figure out what we have going on for the week. That's just going to make me feel better about everything <laughs> once i can see it even if it is overwhelming like oh you got so much shit to do and you're behind at least i can see it and it's just not all up here so let's go I feel a little bit better but I also kind of feel bad because when I get in modes like this like I don't have anybody to hey like suppose music I don't have anybody to show up for me you know I don't have anybody to I guess pick up when I'm not able to do my part and so I went over like our finances and I can tell because I didn't show up in the business I kind of feel like our sales suffered from it um, because we are not at go, not for the week, nowhere near close for the week. And I don't know, I just feel bad about it, which is why I hate getting into these moods. But I mean, it's nothing that I can do about it now, but that's why I fight so hard for myself to show up even when I don't feel like it because things like this happen. So even though... Um, we are not at our goal for our business. At least I was able to kind of like sit down and see, um, everything that needs to be done or what needs to be worked on. <sighs> I'm not going to lie. I am a little bit annoyed by it, by myself. I mean, I, I do understand, like, I didn't ask myself to be depressed, but in my mind, I'm just like, fuck, Shannon, like you didn't show up for the business. You didn't show up. And so now the business suffers. So, I don't know if this is a good or bad thing that I, it, it's a good thing because if I did not organize my life today, again, the anxiety will build up. Um, but anyway, I actually came on here to show you guys what we use or what I use to kind of help me stay in order. Um, one is my um, handy dandy, well, let me show you, let me put you guys down. So this is my planner that I use. I have been using, hold on, can y'all see? Okay, so I have been using this planner for years, almost a decade. Um, it's a simple planner. It's, um, you have to write like the dates and stuff in there, which I actually don't mind. Um, but it has monthly views and then it has like pages where you can put notes. And then it also has like weekly views. And then it has an area on here. It's called Purpose Planner by Roadrunner. Um, I'll have it linked down below or in my Amazon store if you guys are interested. But it has like um, monthly goals, which typically, probably why I'm not on task. But typically I do it. Like it'll have a, a goal 
um, where you can basically like plan it out from month, week, daily, just how you're going to get to your goal. Um, but I like this planner. I, like I said, I've been using it for years. Um, typically, I put everything in here. And so we use Notion to kind of help us with our goals and organize them. I kind of, I'm very type A personality, so it has to look a certain way. But basically, whatever we're working on, um, we have three categories and it's whatever our to-do list is. It's a never-ending list of tasks to do. And then we organize them by what I'm doing and what she's doing. And then this is everything that has gotten completed. That helps me out because we don't necessarily communicate every day. And I am the type of person, like, if I don't see you doing something, I assume you're not, which I know is not good. But this helps me out because I can know what she's working on and she can know what I, I'm working on. And we both can know what was completed. Um, and then we also use... Um, we have a, a Google Doc where basically we communicate i try to do it like daily um but we don't always do that but this is a way for us to because we both have our own personal lives going on um things going on so we don't and then text messages it's hard to keep up with the text message and and look through them so um she came up with the idea that we communicate in this google i mean yeah google doc basically like what we may have accomplished for today, things like updates on certain things and stuff like that. So actually, I need to reach out to that guy. Um, so yeah, that's how we communicate and it works for us. I also use that for my, I use Notion. I've started using Notion for my personal business as well, um, as well as me writing everything down. So now that I kind of got that under wraps, I mean, I guess I do feel better in the sense that I feel like I've done something like I've contributed to the business in some way besides doing nothing um but honestly I it's I don't know um I have anxiety because I just feel like I'm behind but anyway we press through so the next thing I do um to kind of just help me through when I'm going through moves like this is I clean up my space my house um as you can see is an absolute mess we have been planted on this couch <laughs> I have my own palette and Caleb has his own palette and we have been planning on the couch for the last week and I just need to clean up my house. I don't feel good um, when I don't have a clean space or things are out of order. And so what I am about to do is turn on some music and kind of just vibe out and get my house together. I know it's going to make me feel better. Um, cleaning is like really therapeutic for me, even though I don't, well, I don't say I don't like cleaning. I, I just don't have the time to, um, but I don't have a cleaner now because y'all, you know, that whole spill, I can't find one. So I am going to clean up my house, put on some music and kind of just vibe out. Um, I just can't function in a, a cluttered space. Um, and so cleanliness is the best for me as y'all can see like i'm really trying it is a huge part of me that wants to go get back in the bed right now but i am really like pushing myself um i'm bogged down by the fact that like i'm really beating myself up that i did not show up for the business last week as i wanted to and i really feel like i just feel bad i feel like we suffered because of that like i know we did like i know me not doing my part is it's it's showing in our sales like we are not at goal and now like that's just replaying in my mind like fuck shannon because you want to be depressed <laughs> now the business is suffering and this is why i try not to get in these modes because i know i know that my business doesn't care if i'm depressed the clients don't care if i'm depressed like i have to show up no matter what and this is the first time that i did not show up in these are the results. So I'm going to clean. I'm going to clean and just try to get my mind off of it. It's nothing that I can do about it now. Um, what's done is done. All I can do is just move accordingly, do better, and hope for the best. So let's not get into that mode because I steam. I feel myself. I feel myself like sulking. Like, oh, uh, like why, 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 Shannon? But let's just go ahead and... um clean this house um and i will report back to you because we still have a few things that we need to do to kind of help me get out of this mode it's like 
three what time is it it's four o'clock which is kind of late um i had every intention on waking up earlier so that i can get these started but i just woke up still feeling like trash and i had a migraine um and i tried to kind of just like sleep it off but i woke back up and still had it so then i took a silent and i went back to sleep which caused me to i feel like i'm i'm ranting now let's just clean up <laughs> I'm here because God, I need help receiving. I need help believing. God, I wanna believe so bad that it shuts down these negative thoughts. God, I wanna, I wanna believe so bad after that heartbreak. I wanna believe so bad after that miscarriage, but believing costs me something. Believing feels like I'm setting myself up for failure. Believing feels like I'm walking into a trap. And I can't walk into another trap. But I hear God saying, I'm gonna coach you through this one. That's why you got to get filled up with my spirit. Cause I'm gonna coach you through this one. Last time you tried to do it with your own strength and your own might and your own power. This time, none of that is going to work. You're going to have to do it by the Spirit. You're going to have to let me fill you up. You're going to have to let me bring people in your life. You're going to have to let me take people out of your life. You're going to have to let me make you go places by yourself. You're going to have to bury a few things along the way. That's okay, baby. Cry. You're supposed to cry. That thing meant something to you. But when you get finished wiping those tears, Put your shoes back on, baby, because you're a part of a society of women who will not leave you behind. You are part of a society of women who made a promise with God that we'll put skin in the game. Putting skin in the game means I got to be vulnerable. All right, you guys. So I cleaned up, and I can be honest. If I'll be honest, I feel... A lot better a lot better it is nothing like having a clean space cleaning is very like therapeutic for me though i realize that because i just like turn on my music and i just vibe out so um that is one of the like these i guess are like self-care things it makes you realize that self-care doesn't always have to be like spending money or going on vacations or anything like that self-care can literally be you getting your life together so that you can function so I think I might title this self-care rituals I do to help myself or ease the flow of depression in my life. Or not flow, but ease the feelings of depression, I guess. But anyway, um, I do feel better. I'm happy about that. I The next thing I want to do is um, go grocery shopping. I'm a firm believer. Like I read a lot of like um, health books about the gut and stuff like that. And there are a lot of authors who talk about your digestive system as like your second brain. And I truly believe like the things that you consume, like food wise, definitely plays a role in how you feel. When I eat a lot of junk um, and heavy processed foods, like I feel crappy. But when I eat a lot of like um, when I eat a lot of like whole like nourishing foods like vegetables and fruit, not a lot of red meats, like I just feel better like mentally. Um, y'all don't know this, but years ago, thank God that he broke me from this addiction. But I used to eat sugar, like sugar right out of the bag, like Domino, wh whatever granulated sugar brand you can find. My my favorite was Domino, which is sick. Um, but I will eat it by the bag. Like, literally would go days with only eating sugar. Worst years of my life. Like, I felt insane. Like, that is not healthy for you. Um, but the point that I'm making is that we need to go grocery shopping because I don't have any... Oh, shit. I don't have anything um, in my refrigerator to eat. I have a few Hello Fresh meals. But I think I'm not going to eat dinner tonight or i'm gonna eat because i haven't eaten all day but i think i'm gonna keep it light like eat some like fruits or vegetables or something like that make me like some avocado sauce but this is the fridge i don't have any beverages i need to get more fruit um yeah and i need to clean it out too so we're gonna go to the grocery store you guys know that trader joe's is my 
out of my store. So I'm going to grab my recyclable, reusable, reusable bags. And oh snap, we are going to head to the grocery store. This having a full refrigerator, I don't know why it makes me happy, but it just makes me happy. It's something about getting your groceries and making it look good that just makes me in turn feel good. And then also too, I don't want to eat out at all this week really i have no reason to i want to cook more um because one ain't nobody got time to be spending no extra money um y'all know i don't get a consistent check no more right as of right now um and two it's just because it's better like even though i don't like cooking it makes me feel good to know that like i made my meal for me instead of like taking the easy way out by somebody making it for me at least through the week i like to do like that I like to be like that. On the weekend, like I'll indulge, um, but this weekend I indulge a little bit too much. So let's go to the grocery store. See y'all in the future. from grocery shopping i don't know why i turned that light on like it was gonna do something um but as you can see i feel much better so we're going to pack this refrigerator up um i changed my mind i said i wasn't gonna cook tonight but i am i just i'm gonna cook some salmon um i got this like saute asparagus stuff uh and some sweet potatoes um i don't know because i just feel like having a meal today like a decent meal um so yeah i was trying to debate on if i wanted to go for another walk with caleb like go to a park or um should i cook i don't know i really don't like which one i should do first i know if i go to the if i cook now it's going to be too dark to go to the park because it's already late so i might not go i might just cook walk him and then um start my, my nighttime routine because I want to make sure I'm in a bed at a decent time because tomorrow I have to wake up early to go to the gym and I have like a few appointments and stuff like that so I kind of want to like um I've been trying like a nighttime routine to help me start my day so if I go to bed like around 10 or 11 typically that is enough sleep for me to feel good um in the morning if I don't wake up in the middle of the night um and yeah, so I just want to have a good night. Start off with a good night. Do my little nightly routine. So um, I'm going to put these groceries up and then I'll come back um, and probably show you guys my meal. Um, I'm glad that I'm feeling better. I'm so glad that I'm feeling better because man, man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Being in that mindset is just, it's never good. It's never good. So um, this is a testament that God... God will pull you through. Don't ever give up. But anyway, we'll save the speech for later. Um, let's cook. Hey, you guys. So this is editing Shannon. Um, I realized as I'm editing this video that I never came back on here um, after I finished cooking because I think that night, I, just, I know that night, I just end up getting in the bed after I um, cooked, like took a shower and went to bed. And I, when I ended up waking back up feeling depressed and I didn't have it in me to come back on the camera because I was really hoping that all of those things that I had did would carry me throughout to the next day, um, but they didn't. So it took me a few more days to kind of just get it under control. Um, right now, I am happy to say that I'm no longer in that state of mind and I, I feel much better. Um, but I think the biggest takeaway that I wanted you guys to get from that video is that, you know, if you are going through depression um one take it one day at a time i know that it is extremely hard as you see to sometimes just exist 
Um, but I don't want you guys to beat yourself up for something that you really don't have a lot of control over. Um, two, what I want you to take away from that video is that nothing lasts forever. I know I said that I've kind of been depressed my whole life. Um, but I do have moments as of like even now where, you know, I feel good. I feel motivated. I feel productive. I feel like I can keep going. So just know that like storms do not last forever um nothing is forever you'll have moments where you'll feel like that that's just life unfortunately um but don't give up I think that's the moral of the story like don't allow your feelings to get you to the point where you don't want to be here where you want to give up because life is so beautiful and it has so much to offer us um and I don't want us to get defeated by feelings that are not permanent you know um and then the last thing is, I just hope that it helps somebody. Um, make sure you guys are checking on people because life is so hard out here. It's beautiful, but it's hard at the same time. Um, and just as adults, just as humans, I think sometimes we forget to check on one another and to show up for each other. And I get it because everybody has their own thing going on. But if you can, you know, if you haven't heard from a friend or a family member in a while, just call and check on them. September is Suicide Awareness Month. I didn't even realize that as we were talking, as like I was going through this whole thing. But um, I just wanted to close out this video to say um, I hope it helps someone just by me being vulnerable. I don't know if the things that I actually did will work for you. Um, because as you can see, they work for me, but like only in that moment, um, for the next few days, I just had to kind of get it out the mud, but I just wanted to come in and properly close this video out. Cause I realized that I didn't do it cause I just didn't have it in me to do. So again, thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope that it does resonate with somebody. Um, and if you are feeling depressed, if you are feeling those those thoughts of just not wanting to be here and feeling like you would be better off please seek help i know it's easier said than done um but it's so much more to life and i just would hate for people to allow depression to really get the best of them and trust me i get it it's coming from me like i know what it feels like but sometimes you really have to fight for your life and your life is worth fighting for. So until next time, guys, I will talk to y'all later.